Hi folks, before we jump into the video, I just wanted to say this is a pre-intro that I'm doing here before we get into the video that I already recorded um, a few days back. I was supposed to do this video about a month ago um, because I was talking to you guys about like how some people live in their car and they do DoorDash and, and they travel and stuff like that. So I wanted to bring a different type of video here because I go over it and I critique some things in the video. And um, in the video, I didn't, I had, had not written down her name and stuff. I had just downloaded the video, and then I found out it's Christine Meacham. So if you could, go over and sub to her. She's got about 5,000 subscribers over on her channel, and a pretty interesting channel. And um, the thing, the reason I brought this video was to show you that a general, regular person that's, you know, working full-time basically how much they make you know and then when you see after the expenses and stuff you see what the reality of, it, of gig work really is so anyways the video that I'm critiquing is this one called living in my car making 1,000 a week delivering food DoorDash Uber Eats Grubhub because she does all different apps but um, it just goes to show you the normalcy and the truth and the reality of gig work so with that said, like I said, her name is Christine Meacham. I hope you enjoy the video here. I took about an hour to do it, um, and all credit really goes to her. But the reason I did a shout-out to her channel is because I was mentioning the fact that there's a bunch of people that are actually living in their car, and they're doing this work. You know, Either they can't afford a, you know, an apartment, or maybe they're just doing it for an adventure. She's quite young. But she does a great job in the video and everything. You'll see that. So with, without further ado, let's run the video. Hello, folks. Welcome back to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks here on YouTube. And if you're new to the channel, could you please take a second to hit the subscription button, the like button, and the notification bell so you won't miss any more videos. And before we get into today's video, I just want to say that generally, um, overall, um, DoorDash and these app companies are always looking for ways to maximize the profits for the companies and to, um, to minimize the profits for the drivers. And they do that in several ways. And one of the ways is to do this earn by time, uh, program that they're rolling out all over the place with these pilot programs and the, um, high priority access order program and all that folks if if you're new to the gig apps working for for yourself supposedly independently you have to know that you're not independent you're you're working as an employee without benefits and most of the app companies are throttled are throttling you down to the point so you can't make what you really want to make now, there are some apps like Uber Luxury or Black, Uber Black for rideshare. If you were doing those type of things, you could make more money uh, than normal. But most people who drive for rideshare are using their own cars, and they don't really use, like, wonderful cars or really expensive ones. Uh, a lot of them just jumping on to UberX. So you're limited in the money you can make with rideshare. But all of the apps pay relatively the same. I mean, you're looking at between two and three hundred dollars a day, with the exception of other areas of the country that may be better. Um, and there are exceptional drivers and people out there that are really go getters and they could make substantially a lot more money. But for the most part, the majority of people just make a general amount of money. And um, it's uh, I've noticed that like around Christmas time now and everything like people, you think that people would be tipping you better and everything. Some do, but there's a lot of clowns out there that order from DoorDash and Grubhub and Uber Eats and stuff. And they're just lowballing everyone. But on DoorDash, especially it's, it's like, it's getting ridiculous. So they always think of new ways to change everything and to brainwash the masses of people who come on thinking that they're going to like, that's why they, they're rolling all of these ads folks saying, Hey, did you know you can make a, like 
thousands of dollars a week and I paid off my house and my car and whatever they say in those stupid ads to try to get you. If those are all bait ads that are baiting the, uh, just the general public. I bumped into some drivers tonight while I was dashing. And tonight's a Thursday night, by the way. And uh, we were just laughing about how the fact that, like, he's like, did you see how many drivers are on? Like, any in any given store, like, especially if you go to a Chipotle and they're backed up with orders, you see all these people walk in with all their phones and they're holding up their phones, right? And you can tell they're, they're either Uber, Grubhub, or DoorDash. They're all doing app, app work. And DoorDash wants us to believe that there's only two and a half million drivers in the United States. Are you kidding me? It's more like 50, 60, 80 million people are doing DoorDash now. It's amazing. All right. Enough of all of that. I wanted to, I've been wanting to bring you this video for a while. And you have to forgive me because I forget the channel's name. I downloaded this video over a month and a half ago, about a month ago, something like that. And I, and I forgot to write the channel name down. I think she's going to mention it in this video, but I watched this video and it was, it was interesting. And I just came upon it. Like I, I was like surprised because a lot of new channels pop up and, um, I can't even remember how many sub <coughs> subscribers that this girl has, but she has a pretty interesting channel. And the reason I want to play this video for you is because I've been mentioning to all of you that there's like a lot of people that are actually living in their cars, folks, like they, they either can't afford rent or they can't, you know, whatever. And this, this girl is, she's totally awesome. You're going to see like how she lives and sort of survives, but she, <laughs> she's enjoying life. <coughs> and when, when you, when you, I guess when you are living in your car, you have low expenses you know, you're not really spending a, a lot of, of money. So I guess you can save some money. But anyways, uh, the video was living in my car, making a thousand a week delivering food. <clears throat> now, the cool thing about this, this video and this person, this girl, is that she goes over her, her uh, earnings in details, in detail to show you exactly. And see, the great thing about this this video overall is that it's showing the truth of what the majority of people are actually pretty much making. Okay. So I'm going to roll the video. I, I want to play this whole video through. I'm going to try not to, uh, interrupt it too much. Uh, but it's, it's pretty awesome. So I, and I've been meaning to bring it, bring the video to you for a while. So, I mean, there's a lot of people that are living out of their cars. They, they either, you know, can't afford rent or whatever. And I, I feel terrible, but hopefully this, this girl will find an apartment or something in the future. And if anyone knows that this person's channel's name, could you write it in the comments? I know I, I, I'm a fool. I should have wrote this all down, but it's kind of, I'm doing this off the cuff, you know? <laughs> so, all right, let's roll the video. Here we go. So this video is going to be an experiment. One of the ways I like to make money is driving for the food delivery apps, mainly Uber Eats, Grubhub, and DoorDash. The pay is not great, but I think it's really easy and it's really fun. I like driving. I love exploring new towns. I love restaurants, even if I'm not eating there. I like the vibe. So those are all things I'd pretty much do just for fun anyway. So I lived in my car and drove for these food apps on and off last year, but it was very part-time, very randomly, just whenever I felt like it. I've always been curious how it would go if I treated it like a real 40 hour a week job while living in my car. So that's what I'm gonna do this week. I'm gonna be staying in the Metro Detroit area because it's a really large area so I can drive pretty far in any direction and still be in a populated area where I know that it'll be busy enough to get a new job. And also I'm kind of familiar with the area so I know the bad parts of town to stay out of. It's Friday afternoon right now so my plan is to get as many hours as I can out of the way during the weekend. One, because it's busier and two, if I get a lot of the hours out of the way during the weekend then I can chill more during the week. But if it's a slow weekend then I also have several weekdays to try to make it up. My goal is to have 40 hours of actively working this week. So not counting when the apps are on and I'm just waiting for a job, but 40 hours of actively working. I don't know if that's possible because I am really picky about jobs. I typically don't accept any job under $8 and it needs yeah. to be at least a dollar per mile, but we'll see what. Now I, I want to say one thing I, you know, when I watched this video the first time through, 
I, I knew this girl was genuine. You can just tell she's totally truthful. And this is what I love, like a channel that is not out for monetary gain so much. Um, she's just kind of living life, you know, and doing, having some fun times and whatever. And I don't know if she's doing it on purpose, like living in the car. I don't know what her real situation was. I think she might go over some of it in the video here. But the thing about it is, is that, I mean, it's sort of an adventure, too, because she's quite young. She's probably in her 20s. I can't even see her being in her 30s. She's in her 20s, I think. But um, it, it's pretty interesting to find out what the reality of, I mean, and, and this is a person that is living in her car, right? So imagine if she can't really afford rent and stuff, but, you know, she can get by doing the car thing, but you still have to pay for expenses and insurance and gas and whatever and then coupled with the fact that if you had all those other expenses and you're only making the money she's making because most people the funny thing is when at near the end of the video when she shows everything this is showing what the majority of people actually make and i'm talking probably 80 percent of the people in america are making basically this type of money and maybe less than this and you got to ask yourself, can you live off of this if you are living in an apartment and stuff like that? All right, uh, let's continue. Happens. I'm a pretty go with the flow person, so I'm just going to figure it out as I go. Just a heads up, the first part of this video is mostly how my week went. So if you only care about the numbers, you can skip to this minute mark. But why would you do that? Do you not care about my life? What the heck? I thought we were friends. <laughs> All right, let's turn the apps on and hit the road. So the first thing I do when I start my shift is open the Stride app. This tracks my miles for tax deduction. And once I have that going, I open up the other three apps and let them know I am available and ready to take jobs. And now we wait. Okay, it looks like we got our first job that's acceptable. It's $9.75 to go seven and a half miles. And it's kind of in the direction I want to go anyway, so I'm going to accept it. I've never accepted an alcohol order at Meyer before, but it is over $2 per mile, and I only have to get four items, so we're going to try it out. I'm at Meyer right now. I'm also kind of getting hungry, so I'm going to look at the fresh stuff and see if there's something I can grab real quick for dinner while I'm here. Normally, I would take my sesame chicken dinner and throw it in the skillet and heat it up, but... I feel like I got a late start in the day and I don't want to waste any more time. So I'm going to try to see if I can rig it to the top of my car and have the sun cook it because it's like 90 today. So I'm just going to like put it up here and let it sit for an hour and take it down and see. By the way, folks, th this video, uh, this was, I believe in November, it was like only a month ago. And I, I don't know if she lives out in the West coast, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing she's out somewhere in the midwest of the west coast of america it's warm dude that lady was so nice she just tipped me a cold pop because it's hot and an extra ten dollars some people are awesome <laughs> yep thank you nice that happened to me yesterday i got a ten dollar actually i got a it was the day i made i don't know if i mentioned but i made first for the first time i made 290 dollars in one day for between 11 and nine o'clock at night and I actually took an hour break from two to three. So it was really like probably an eight hour day for me, something like that. And I couldn't believe it. But all the stars had lined up correctly. A guy, One guy tipped me an extra $20 cash and another lady tipped me 10 And boy, how, how awesome that feels when, when someone actually cares about you and gives you a good tip, you know? Baby. <clears throat> That's good. Squirt's actually my childhood nickname. <laughs> okay, let's check on our dinner. Let's see if it's still there. Woohoo! It is. I, I feel wish, a little bit like a genius. I wish <laughs> I could remember her name. I <laughs> I should have wrote this down before I had, you know, <laughs> before I downloaded the video or whatever. But like I said, it's been on my phone for a while and I wanted it. I usually, if I see a good video, I usually download it to my phone and then, you know, I either critique it or do it later on or whatever, but oh, I can't rem I can't believe I can't remember her name. Okay, the food's been up there for a little bit over an hour. The container feels warm, but let's see if the food's actually warm. 
It's warm. <laughs> it's not hot, but it's warm. So it's almost 11 o'clock and I'm getting pretty tired, so it's time to call it a night. I've been online for six and a half hours and I've been actively working about five hours and ten okay, minutes. Okay, so here on here on her spreadsheet, she's she's uh you know using all her, her start time, her end time, online time and active time, and then showing what she made for the day. Okay, so that start that was Friday. She started it on the weekend. Uh I drove 85 miles and I made $118. So not a bad first day. There was a Planet Fitness not very far from my last stop. So I'm going to sleep here tonight. Time to get ready for bed. Good night. Good morning. Time for... Boy, the life of someone living in their car. I mean, there's um, there's a girl on YouTube. Uh, something... I can't remember her name either. <laughs> But she drives around with a with a dog in her car in a to Toyota Prius and uh, Nikki Deventhal or something like that. I can't remember. But anyways, she actually travels the whole country and she does it on purpose, you know. And it's actually, I guess, it would be kind of cool for for an adventure if you're single or whatever, you know, to see the the country. But I mean, people that are doing this, there's a lot of people that are that are out of you know. Thank God they have a car, right? At least that. But I, I can't even imagine it. You know what I mean? It's, uh, but some people like it. Coffee, gym, and shower. I've got my French press coffee brewing, but honestly, that felt pretty unsafe. I was holding it the whole time to make sure it didn't move, but it was stressful and the bottom's kind of hot and the car heated up really fast, even though I have the sunroof open. I don't think this setup's going to work long term. <laughs> Let's stop at Kroger and see what sales they cool. have. She she goes through like her routine of what she does, you know, for the day and stuff like that. And, you know, be, besides just delivering, you know. The day and figure out a new <laughs> caffeine option. At least she's eating healthy. Giant breakfast salad. <laughs> it's 10.30 and I'm done with breakfast and I've cleaned up the car, so I'm going to turn the apps on and get to work now. It was a fun morning. I got to see a lot of cute things. Stayed busy and drove very carefully as to not spill very full drinks. Oh, In my doubt... I mean, folks, did you see that? <laughs> Oh man, uh, hold on. Let me. I gotta move this. Oh man, that right there is what. Like those are the trays that I hate carrying in the car, folks. And a lot. You know what I do now when I go to like Dunkin' Donuts or Honeydew or whatever. I always request request them to put it in a bag. And if they don't, at like Wendy's, like at a Wendy's. They're notorious for giving you those with like a whole bunch of drinks, but they have big bags you can request. And I usually get the bags and put that inside the bag because in the bag, it's a little more stable. And if something does spill, at least it won't go all over your car. Like I can't even tell you how, how bad, like when I used to take like lefts or rights or corners or whatever, you can't. You just can't rest that inside your car. You have to have it secure or have like a drink caddy, one of those drink caddies to hold everything. Oh, man. I I like I've spilt a million of those drinks. I'm sure some of you have, too. It sucks. <laughs> Very full drinks. In my downtime, I found a nice park to stretch my legs. Refill my water bottle. Eat a second salad. Get some editing done and enjoy a little bit of nature. Head to your pickup at Kabuki Farmington Hills. Awesome. Don't mind me, just delivering sushi. <laughs> Subscribe for more terrible dad jokes. <laughs> 
It's 9 o'clock and I have a pickup at Taco Bell. So I'm thinking I'm just going to brush my teeth and take my contacts out and do my nighttime stuff while I have use of the bathroom here. Well, it's almost 11 o'clock. I really wanted to hit $200 today and I'm only $13 shy, but I've been sitting and waiting for like 15 minutes and I'm getting tired and nothing's coming in. So I think I'm actually going to park at my last stop, which was a really nice apartment complex. Looks very big, very nice, very safe. So I'm just going to set up camp here for the night. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the now, morning. I so. want to mention something, what she said about how <clears throat> she was trying to hit 200 bucks. We, I think we've all been in that situation before, especially if it's at night. And you're sitting, and you might even be in a hot zone, and nothing's coming through. You, you know why they do that, folks? It isn't even because that there's a bit, like, you may think it's busy just because they show a red zone or a pink zone or whatever. A lot of times, and I, I mean, this is through working for two and a half years doing this stuff, I mean, with, with DoorDash. I mean, write in the comments what you think, but this is my, I mean, opinion and almost pretty much fact that they keep those red zones going because they know that people at some point are going to like, oh, I'm going to go home, whatever. And they keep the red zone going to make you psychologically, psychologically think that, oh, I'm going to get something if I stay in the red zone. And it's not necessarily doesn't happen. And also there's, there is too many people on. So with that said, I mean, when there's too many people on and there's not enough, uh, orders to go around you're gonna sit no matter what even if it is a red zone you know we'll figure it out when we wake up <clears throat> good night so going over the numbers from today which is saturday i started at 10 30 a.m okay so 10 30 she started she ended up she ended at 10 50 at night so she did a full 12 hours now see check that out folks okay 12 hours and 20 minutes and this is on a Saturday, right? But this was in November, okay? Seven hours and 50 minutes active time and 12 hours online time. So this, that means that 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, for five hours she was sitting around not getting anything. She did 129 miles and she made 186. That That's pretty bad. Like in 12 hours and 20 minutes, folks, like in the old days, you'd be able to make three, 300 bucks. You should be making 300 bucks or more, but it, it's, it's telling me, well, her area is either saturated or maybe she's, I don't know how much in the boonies she is out there, but really 12 hours and she only made 186. Those are, those are my general days. Like if I stayed out for 12 hours, usually that's what I'd probably make. Sometimes I'd make 150, 170. That's pretty sad. It's sad that you had that you have to stay out that long. The cool thing with this person is she is being honest and she's showing you what really goes on. Unlike these fluffer nutta channels that come out and go, Oh, look at me. I'll make a 350, 400. I, I'll show you how I saw one video saying, Oh, I'll show you how to make 500 bucks in one day. Yeah, my ass. <laughs> it, what liars, you know? <clears throat> I ended The only ones that can do that is if with Rideshare and if you're on Lux, like J Jay Watts. I mean, he's done it. I've seen, like, I know he can do it. Um, you have to have the right vehicle. You have to be on the luxury service or the black, and you have to be in a busy zone or something happening where people, uh, you're just getting lucky, like, taking long distance trips and actually when I say long distance, it doesn't have to be that long distance, but then you need good tippers, but that's about it. Like with, with driving for delivery apps, you ain't, you are not going to make that kind of money. No way. 10 to 50 p.m. So I was online for 12 hours and 20 minutes. I was actively working for seven hours and 50 minutes of that. I drove 129 miles and I earned and about 100. Let me tell you folks, 12 hours, if some of you have never done 12 hours, you may be a part-timer listening to this. A 12-hour shift in your car is a long time to be in a car. Because even when I was doing taxiing, when I was taxiing, I worked as much as 16 and 18 hours when I was a lot younger, right, right, and uh, oh boy, it, it it will wear you out, folks. It will definitely wear you out. My good subscriber Thomas Schubeck, he he 
where it's that like popcorn, you know what I mean? And he was making about that. I, rem I remember that's the great thing about the people on this channel is like all of you kind of, not all of you, but some of you had written your earnings and what you made. And I, I love the honesty because that I, I love when people tell the truth, folks, you know what I mean? Truth is, is key <laughs> to learning the, the, the gig economy. And $87. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Crazy hair. <laughs> it's only 6.15 and I should be trying to sleep in because I'm super tired, but I looked at a map and there's a nature park like a mile from here with a big pond and a bunch of pretty pictures online. So I think I'm going to drive over there and make coffee and start my day there. This is kind of cool. Should put a little music in the video. She's near like a campsite or whatever. Looks kind of cool, doesn't it? I miss the summer. <laughs> I live on the East Coast, so it's cold, you know. Massachusetts, real cold now. She's got to be in the Midwest or, or the West. Because this was only about a month ago. But again, anyone know her channel name? I know bologna is bad for you, but I used to eat pickled bologna with my dad, so this is like a childhood favorite. So I just finished getting my fresh food for the day from Kroger. It's 8.30. I'm going to skip a shower today just so I can get on the road, and I'm going to count my nature walk as my workout for the day. I want to start working as soon as possible so we can make the most of our last weekend day. So it's 8.30 now. I'm going to turn the apps on and start waiting. Well, that was quick. Within minutes, I got my first order of the day. Looks like a breakfast spot and pretty good price, so I'm going to take it. Awesome, and the customer tipped us extra, so we actually made $13.25 off that one. It's a great start to the day. It's going to be a good day. Now, I want to say one thing about this girl, right? She's, she's a sweetheart of a girl. You could just tell, right? And she's just out there very innocently working, and right? I She doesn't, like, critique and, and criticize uh, DoorDash at all. Uh, but she also doesn't um, promote them either. You know what I mean? She's just a general, regular girl doing her thing, working, trying to make money to survive, not even bitching, moaning, and complaining, Okay. Um, and that's cool. You know what I mean? Whatever. I mean, <clears throat> maybe she's on a, oblivious to what DoorDash really does or whatever. Maybe she doesn't care. Most people, you know, if they're making enough to survive and live, that's all they care about. But I care about people getting what's due to them. In other words, maximizing your profits. Because aren't you sick of the companies making money off of your back? You know me, you know what I mean? In your car, your gas, your life, you know, it's why you got to take control of your life and do what you got to do to make, make the money. Right. It was a good morning. I got to explore a cute little art fair while I waited for my next job. And made my breakfast salad. There's a live deer on this busy road. <laughs> Look at that. A deer that wants to cross the road. Oh. I love animals. Let's see, where's she picking up from? Yeah, it must be a local restaurant or something. <clears throat> Please don't judge me. It was a caffeine emergency. <laughs> Lunch was a bologna and sauerkraut tailgate party for one. <laughs> I just picked up from the McDonald's right there, and the drop-off is the Texas Roadhouse right there. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much. Okay, so I'd have to drive pretty far for this one, but I'm pretty sure the $25 would put us over 200 bucks, so I think I'm gonna accept it. Plus 24.95, was it? Woohoo! 
Over 200 bucks for the day. All right, it's gonna take us a while though, so let's hit the road. Dude, we got another good one it's late night. Let's go. To see how many Brushing hours. my teeth at a Taco Bell for the second <laughs> night in a row. <laughs> I have a private bathroom tonight. Luxurious. <laughs> okay, let's look okay, at our stats go. for the day. All right, so she actually did, she did pretty good, but look how many hours that she did here, folks. 14 hours and 30 minutes. That, I mean, I used to pull shifts like that. Like, I, and, and I'm, I'm remembering when I was driving a taxi, like how insane it was. Like, after 12 hours, folks, you're in like, you're either in overdrive and you get a second wind or you're so extremely tired that like you'll actually pray that the dispatch doesn't come over the radio and go, yeah, hey, go pick up uh, over there on Lewis and Miller on the corner of Lewis and Miller Street or whatever, because we used to use the radios. Right. And, uh, you know, everything's changed with this digital world and everything. But 14 hours and 30 minutes, that's almost 15 hours, folks, for 243. 240 and people come on this channel and say, Oh yeah, I made 300 bucks today and I did it in six hours or seven hours. Yeah. My ass you did. <laughs> yeah. Start filming from, from start to finish your shift and show us every order that you've done. And I guarantee it won't be what you say it is. See th this person I trust because she's not lying. I mean, look at that. She did 184 miles. In, but made 243 man it's so hard to make that money isn't it <clears throat> so today was a super long day we started at 8 30 a.m and ended at 11 so we wow. were online for 4 8 30 in the morning and she ended at 11 o'clock at night imagine that working i mean eight to eight is 12 hours then nine is 13 10 yeah yeah uh, 11 oh man that's uh that's insane like oh uh, it's just insane for such little money in 14 hours you would hope that you know if you made 300 bucks in 14 hours that that would be an accomplishment but imagine that she couldn't even make 300 and people are telling me that they make 300 all the time yeah like i really believe that <laughs> 15 hours and 30 minutes <clears throat> I was actively working 10 hours and 40 of those minutes. I drove 184 miles and made $243.56. So that was an awesome day. If we total up the three days of the weekend. And that you know what's funny, folks? She's not even bitching, moaning, or complaining about it. She's just trolley la 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 and so naturally nice. And what, I mean, you could just tell she's a nice girl. And I, I feel bad because I, like, she should have made, like, on that, um, 12 hour day she should have easily made i mean any of these like she should have made 300 bucks you know what i mean and this is what's sad about these apps folks especially doordash like the algorithm itself should say hey this person stayed out 12 you know when you get past eight hours it should start pushing more good orders on that person showing dedication and time but do you think that doordash really cares about us no None of them do Uber, Lyft, Instacart, Shipped, you know, I mean, any app out there, folks, they don't care about us. They only care about themselves. Imagine how many orders or deliveries she probably got ripped off or stolen from and doesn't even know, you know, that's why I feel bad. <laughs> The total that I made this weekend to 548 bucks. That's awesome for just working weekend hours. I found a hotel parking lot to sleep in. Well, you so. know, most of your hours anyways, folks, <clears throat> uh, uh, is made on the weekends. If And if you don't work the weekends, I, you know, it's funny because Pedro Santiago, and I love the guy and everything, but he's kind of jumping ship on DoorDash, right? Because he even said it in some of the past couple of videos that, you know, he, his, my, he notices his market is saturated now and he can't really make the money and all of this. And he's, he's even telling people, Hey, you should probably go get a W2 job. I mean, it's, it's insane what's going on with these apps. It really is. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go to bed. <clears throat> See you in the morning. I slept in the whopping 7.30 today. <laughs> 
the life of a DoorDash driver. <laughs> Actually, she never specified whether it was exactly DoorDash. I think she said at the beginning of the video using DoorDash, Grubhub, and Uber Eats. So, you know, it's hard to multi-app too because you, you could get one order that's going completely opposite directions and you you can't take those folks because you'll end up screwing yourself. They'll they'll deactivate you or you'll get bad ratings. You know what I mean? <laughs> Instant coffee kind of morning. I've got my 12-volt heat inductor. I'm just going to plug this in. Make sure it's getting warm. Yep, it's getting warm. And drop it in the water. I'm going to let that heat up while I drive to the gym that's a mile away. Yep, it's hot enough. That'll do. I'm going to work out for a full hour today because I feel like I've done nothing but sit and drive, sit and edit, and sit and eat. All right, it's noon on Monday, so let's get to work and try to hit the lunch rush. Okay, it says it's very busy in our area and has a dollar bonus, so that's great. So now she's starting Monday morning. I did not feel like cooking tonight or even stopping at a grocery store. And I had a pickup at a nice Italian restaurant, so I pre-ordered a sandwich. And there's a little park two minutes from where I dropped off the food, so I'm going to pull over and enjoy my sandwich while I wait for another job. I can't. I think her goal was to do just five days and then sort of had e either midweek a couple of days off or something like that. So remember, <clears throat> she started Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now it's Monday, so she's four days in. I'll tell you how much discipline it takes not to take a bite of this before getting the camera set up. I'm so hungry. Boy, that looks good. Mm. Oh, my God. It's so good. This is by far the best Italian sandwich I've ever had. Twelve fifty to go two and a half miles. Yes, please. Well, it's ten forty and it's been pretty slow. It's Monday night, so I think I'm gonna call it. I am headed to a hotel to park for the night, and once I get there, I'll go over the numbers with you. Okay, so let's okay, see. Here's the breakdown. So Monday. Um, let's see. Monday. Okay, so wait a minute. Noon to three. She has nothing there, but then from 5, 5 p.m. to 10.40, she 8 hours and 40 minutes online and 5 hours active time. So, wow, that's not very good either. 132 bucks. Oh, boy. But it is, eh, it's 8 hours online time, though. Oh, ter it's terrible. I mean, I won't say it's terrible, terrible, but wow. At least she's honest and she isn't saying, hey, I made 300 bucks today. <laughs> How our Monday ended up. I was online from noon till 3. I did take a break from 3 to 5, so that puts my online time for the day at 8 hours and 40 minutes. I was actively working 5 hours and 10 minutes of that, put 108 miles in the Noon to 3. I, I don't understand that. She didn't make anything from noon to 3. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. Hmm. And earned $132. So kind of a slow day, but it was Monday, so I expected it to be. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. It smells like the pizza I just delivered in here. <laughs> Good morning. Coffee cheers. Clink. So today is Tuesday. I anticipate it being slow again. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to get started early. It's almost nine. So maybe do some breakfast, um, working, work through lunch. And then for the afternoon, I think I want to try to find a beach and kind of have a little bit of a break, a little bit of a chill afternoon. I want to get lunch and eat it by the water. It's supposed to be beautiful today. And then I'll clock back in for dinner time and nighttime rush. So that's the plan for the day. I'm going to clock in on the apps now.
<laughs> First one of the day is a Starbucks. Nice. <clears throat> Kylie? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Here you go. Hello. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks. You too. You know, I was just thinking of a name for the channel, like if 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 I could, like Advent, the Adventures of DoorDash, or something like that, or Adventuring in Gig Gig Apps, or I don't know, something like that would have been cool. But that's not what her channel's name is. Again, if anyone knows the channel name for this girl, please write it in the comments. I feel like an idiot because I forgot <laughs> I forgot the channel name because I wanted to shout her out, you know. But I the reason I did this video is because. When I first saw it, I was like, she's honestly reporting her earnings, like, you know, to show what a real door, a typical DoorDash driver. And she, she's working full time hours. Remember, it's not, she's not doing part time hours, folks. She's working full time, except one or two of those days, right? I mean, putting 12, 14 hour days in. And, and I mean, it just doesn't feel good if you can't break. 300 bucks in a day. When I was a taxi driver, I used to easily break 300 bucks a day in that amount of time. I mean, 400, I made 500 bucks in a day before, I mean, as a taxi driver, but I mean, it's not every day you make it. It would, it was on certain days, you know, but at least she's honest, you know, <clears throat> Ramen noodles. I forgot there was a mall in this town, and I accidentally accepted an order in the mall. Oh, this is a huge I mall. I remember when I first was watching this video, and she mentioned the mall. Have you guys and gals ever got an order or delivery to go, like, you don't know where you're going, and it ends up being in a mall? It's It sucks. Because if you don't know that mall, and you don't know where to park your car or whatever, and have to go in on, on a certain exit, I mean, entrance and, and a side... It may take you 20, 30, 40 minutes to walk through a mall. And so when I, when I find, if I, if that happens to me, I, I end up on the sign in the, the, uh, the order. Um, the, I mean, if I know I'm going to a mall and it, and I just don't know it, I'm like, I just on the sign it and let someone else take it. It's not worth taking it, you know? So I'm going to track how long it takes me to get to the center of it and back to my car. <laughs> That sucks so bad, having to go through the whole mall. Because <laughs> these malls have those food courts. You know, the food courts where, you know, there's all kinds of different things. And I mean, I mean, it's insane how people order from a mall. It, it sucks. It's unless it's a good paying order. <clears throat> wow. Luckily, only 16 minutes and a half a mile. Thankfully, I'm familiar with this mall. Otherwise, those numbers would probably be doubled. I don't feel bad about skipping the gym today. <laughs> After lunch rush, I got an order to be delivered to Dodge State Park. <laughs> Cocktail shrimp and a ginger colada for Christy Meacham. That's yes, it. thank you so much. Christy Meacham. Cr Christy Meach Meacham or Meacham. I think it's Meacham, M-E-E-C-H-E-M, -E Meacham. That's it. Christy Meacham. I, oh, thank God she said her name. She seemed nice. <laughs> so big shout out to you, Christy. I mean, you know what's cool about about this type of a channel too, folks, is that, you know, it's a little bit of adventure plus doing the DoorDash stuff. It's not like a typical, Hey, let me bring you in. You know what I mean? Cause it just gets repetitive. So at least she breaks it up and does some cool things and, and then does the DoorDash stuff, you know? It only 
thing is, it's too bad she doesn't have a dog or a cat with her or something like that, you know, as a, as a little uh, companion, you know, it's just her. A lot of these people, they have like a dog with them or something, you know. <clears throat> It's 5.30 now. I didn't plan on taking a four-hour break, but I was having such a good time relaxing by the water. But I should probably get back to work now. All right, she's doing the night shift. Okay, it's 10.30, and I'm getting sleepy, so let's check our stats for the day. Ah. Okay, so... Okay, so here... This was Tuesday, so one, two, three, four, five days she's done. I think... I don't know if this is the complete end of it. I think it is. Um... She started at 9 in the morning to 1.30, but <clears throat> I don't get it because she's not reporting any earnings from the 9 to 1.30. And then 5.30 to 10.30. So she has 9 hours in act, and uh, online time, active hours of 6 hours and 20 minutes. Hundred, She did 110 miles and she made 145. Now, eh, it's relatively the same. Monday and Tuesday was basically relatively the same. But the only two days that she really made decent money was the Saturday and Sunday. But she had to put in like mega hours there, 12 hours on Saturday and 14 hours on, on, on uh, Sunday. Wow. Today is Tuesday. <clears throat> I worked from 9 to one thirty, then from 5.30 to 10.30. So I was online for nine and a half hours today, working six hours and 20 minutes of that. I drove 110 miles and made 145 bucks, which brings my total for the week to 825 bucks. Not bad. The next morning, I decided to make some nachos because I had been craving Mexican all week. Sitting here eating my nachos, looking at this high rise in the distance, and remembering what it's like to be stuck in an office Monday through Friday, nine to five, looking at the world through a window. Mm. And I just feel super blessed to be <laughs> eating nachos in a park on a Wednesday at ten. I I think it's Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is. I mean, you know, that is the cool thing about about doing. The gig apps and stuff, it does give you freedom. But if you have all of these bills that tie you up into your lifestyle and everything, and, and your your back is strapped against the wall where you're constantly having to work, it just seems that you don't have time to enjoy life. But when you're on the go and the run or whatever, like she, Christy Meacham here does, where she's living in her car, she, ha she doesn't have any expenses or whatever, you know, you can do all those simple things. It's a di totally different lifestyle, but <clears throat> it is kind of cool in one way, right? <laughs> have any of you, write in the comments if any of you have ever done this type of thing before. Let me know. As it doesn't matter to me anymore. And yes, you know, food delivery does not make a lot of money. Huh. But you hear what she just said? Food delivery does not make a lot of money. She just said it. And you can just tell how truthful and honest she is. And that's what I love about this channel. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you, Christy, if you ever see this. Great, great video, by the way. Way rather eat nachos in the park on a Wednesday at 10 and make minimum wage than make a ton of money and live my life in there. I don't know if it was all the hours of driving catching up with me or the sugar buzz. But I was starting to feel a little loopy. You're too much. You're too much for me. <laughs> Do not pee on the grass. <laughs> 48 bottles of beer on the bed. 48 bottles of beer. <laughs> I only worked dinner time today, so it was... Okay, so here's her Wednesday. So she did one, two, three, four, five, six days. 4.45 to 11 p.m., six hours, right? Three and a half hours active time. So she was sitting for almost three hours, but she only made $94. That's not very good. But overall, I, I guess, let me see. Let's see. Actually, I wonder if she works the seventh day. She worked six. Let's see if she works seven. Short day, but I still made $94 in about four hours. So it's a good day. 
Good morning. It's Friday, day seven, the last day. I'm super excited. There's only one more hour to go to reach my goal. Of okay, so she must have took she must have took Thursday off because she was from Wednesday, and then she's mentioning that it's Friday. So she took one day off. She took Thursday off, but she's working Friday again. Let's see what she does here. Active hours of working. I've earned nine hundred and twenty dollars, and I'm so close to a thousand that I'm just going to keep going till I hit a thousand, even if it takes over forty hours. I feel great about how this has gone. I feel great about how the day is going to go. So let's hit the road. Uh, DoorDash pickup for Milano. All right, go ahead and pull up. All right, this is a little bit of a smaller one, but it would put us over the thousand dollar mark, so I'm gonna accept it. Oh. Woohoo! minutes of active working time today. Wow, I am so thankful for such a good week. I had a ton of fun and I am so pleased that I made a thousand dollars. Now that thousand dollars is before expenses though. Yeah. So I can't so that now that's so okay. So that's where you get into the expense thing. Okay, so she made a thousand, but how much gas did it cost out of the thousand bucks? I, I'm I'm guessing minimum Two two hundred bucks for gas alone, right? So if you take away, two, let's just say it, let's just say conservatively two hundred. So now you're down to eight. How about all the uh, the breakfast salads and the food she bought and everything else? Throw in at least another hundred, right? So now you're down to seven hundred. Do you think you can? Live off of the 700 bucks, depending on where you live. And if are you paying for an apartment, are you living in your car? And by the way, if there's anyone that, and I'm not knocking anyone who's living in your car. Uh, I actually did it when I was younger myself. I mean, I didn't, I didn't drive. I wasn't driving for any, uh, you know, delivery services at the time, but I was young and, um, you know, I was like 17, 18, 19, whatever. And you do that type of stuff usually when you are young, but I'm not knocking people who do it because I feel bad. I mean, if that's your only way to have shelter and live and survive, then, you know, God bless you, you know, uh, but you know, at some point you want to have a stable place to live if, if you can do it, you know, but anyways, let's finish off what Christy's going to say here what my actual net take home is so this is about to get pretty geeky and spreadsheety so i'm sorry if that's not your thing but it's my thing so <laughs> Okay, so final totals for the week. I had almost 64 hours of online time. So that means I had the apps on and said I was available. 64 hours. Now, here's the thing. She's living in her car and stuff like that. So a lot of it, even if she's just sitting in the car or outside the car and, and, and just waiting for orders to come in, you know, you're killing some time. But you're still... 64 hours is a lot of hours, folks, right? And a lot of us are pulling that type of time now anyway. Some of us are doing 70 and 80 hours a week, right? In a regular job, you can work 40 hours and come home with a half-decent paycheck, depending on what you do, right, in a W-2. But, I mean, think about it. All of these things, and you don't even have any benefits. You got nothing. This is why DoorDash does suck, folks, and this is why my channel is called DoorDash Sucks. Because the average worker is making this type of money. Most of you are making this type of money. Do you think that this warrants really working for these companies? Now, with that said, a lot of us have learned to multi-app and try to make a little extra than we do just on one app or, or one whatever. But think about it. They should be paying us way more than what, what we're making, especially using our own card. The, 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 if anything you've learned from this video, folks, is the fact that 
they're not paying us enough. They're not paying us what we should be making. And, you know, God bless some of you if you're just doing it part time and you, you know, you're good with it. But full timers, you really can't, you can survive, but you can't really thrive on, on this type of money in my estimation. What do you guys think? And waiting for jobs. Of those 64-ish hours, I only actively worked 43-ish of them. I'm going to start using round numbers. So I had 20 hours sitting in the car this week, which was fine because I had a lot of computer work to do. But in the past, I've watched Netflix. I've read a book. There's ways to fill your time, but you just need to be prepared for that with this line of work. I put 748 miles on my car, and I earned a total of $1,005.14. So of that, I spent 181 We'll call it in gas. So I ran okay. the numbers as if now, I, I didn't was even doing know this as a 40 hour. I didn't even know that that I was roughly about right. I said about 200 and she said 181. So basically it was 20 bucks off and I didn't even know. I just guessed. Okay. So I was, I was kind of right. A week, 52 week a year job. Assuming for every thousand dollars I made, I put 748 miles on my car, I can deduct that. So that brings the tax bracket down to 12%. So that would be 68 bucks in taxes. And I wanted to account for maintenance on my car. So I pick older vehicles that I can pay cash for and I just kind of run them till they die. So I you buy- hear that, You hear that folks? That's kind of important because I'm kind of in that type of a boat myself. I don't have a brand new car and nor would I even buy one like, even if I could go get one right now, I would never buy a new car and do this line of work because it's, it's bet you're better off getting a secondhand car and running it into the ground, like she just said, and just saving money over the course every season. Not, not that you're getting a new car every season, but be prepared to pay for one and get, th you know, throwaway cars for three, four thousand bucks you know, and get maximum amount of miles out of it. Maybe you want to go two or three seasons, but always, you know, put, drop 20 bucks a, even a week in a box that's just for the, the fact that you may, you know, because you still have to do repairs on cars, but if it gets so bad that you're putting so much repair in a car, you might as well just go get another one. So she's smart. She saves enough money to do it, you know? them in like the four thousand dollar range when they have like a hundred and thirty thousand miles on them and try to run them till they get to like two hundred thousand miles I, you know i don't have a car payment but i do have maintenance so i just kind of guessed at 500 bucks for every ten thousand miles that i put in the car and that includes tires oil changes yep. batteries you know and when something big breaks so that's and just a lot of people don't even figure that in when they're driving they just go ahead and drive and drive until one day you know your water pump goes in your car or your you lose a tie rod in your in your right front tire or your ball joint goes and then you you're spending 700 a thousand how about if your transmission goes then you're really screwed right <laughs> I, I wanted to take that into account because all these miles going on the car needs to be accounted for so i also accounted for needing to buy a new vehicle so if i were to do this as a full-time job and put 750 miles on my car per week that's gonna add up quickly and i'm eventually gonna need to buy a new car which i think still needs to be accounted into my net profit from this so 42 dollars would be put aside to buy a new car when the current one dies which would bring my net to 675 dollars in my pocket which is <laughs> 675 right so if you think about it, folks, that's the general amount of money. Do you, I mean, think about the hours that, that she put in and that most of us put in, we're putting in 60, 70 hours a week of at least drive time. But the active time is the, you know, from picking up to drop off. Right. Okay. But we're still in our cars a lot. Do you think that that's a lot of money? And that's the average general person that does DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber. No one's making a killing on this stuff. Now, people used to make double and triple that. And, you know, in rideshare, you can still do it, but you have to be in the Lux or the Black, Uber Black, or you have to be a an independent person to make the really awesome money. You know, if you're doing, pri if you have private clients, you may be making 500 per whack, a thousand. I mean, rideshare professor said he made, what, two grand a week? before and so doesn't jay watts he does it sometimes you know uh, maybe a lot of times he does it 
but that's not the majority of us. That's that's the not the norm. But there are people that can do it. All right, let's finish off the video. I want to thank Christy Meacham for her video. I'm glad uh, she said her name so I could remember her name. So, um, and I can't remember the full channel name, but uh, it's definitely a uh, a gig channel. And I'm going to have to check out more of her videos. So I hope you guys like this video and go over and sub to her, you know, check her out. Uh, she's She has other videos too. All right, let's finish off here. Not bad. That's over $15 cash in my pocket per hour worked. And that would be $2,700 cash take home per month. So when I live on the road full time, I don't have like rent or a mortgage payment or anything. Yeah, that, think about that. No rent, no mortgage payment. That's just her being on the road, right? But now factor in rent and everything else. Do you think you can live off that money? Most people can't. And this is what these gig apps are doing to everyone. Like, it's it's insane, folks. <laughs> Bills that come along with a house. So my monthly expenses are pretty low. My fixed expenses are eight seventy a month. That doesn't include anything for entertainment or going out to eat or anything like buying gifts or anything like that. But just like I could live off of technically $870 a month, which would leave over $1,800 left over, which is significant. And I could apply that to whatever I wanted. I could use it to travel or put it to retirement or save up for something big or buy 1800 things at the dollar store. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty decent pay for how easy this job is. So you're not going to get rich by doing this or anything, <laughs> but it's an extremely flexible way to make money. And it allows me to make money while traveling. So for me, it has like all yeah, the good. I mean, I guess if you wanted to travel the country, that's the one good thing with some of these apps is that you can do them in any state. You could move to any state you wanted to and have an instant job. There are some perks to it. Um but overall, the app companies and the apps, they're, they're all taking advantage of each and every one of us folks. They, they don't, I mean, they pay out very little base pay. We're relying on all these people to tip us. And then, you know, we do get upset when we don't get good tips. We shouldn't put all the pressure on the people that are buying the food, but there has to be a happy balance. And the problem is, is that they, the companies have tipped the scales in their favor and forgot about the drivers and it's pretty sad you know that they do this to us you know and we just have to expose them and and we need to get people to stop taking every delivery order because the people who are taking these low ball no tip orders right are the ones that are keeping these customers and the and the companies you know giving them an okay a green light to keep screwing you if we, if we just resist a bit, we can change a lot of things. It starts with you. Remember that. All right, let's finish off the final part here. And like I said, we thank Christy Meacham for, for her video. And that's the life of a person who lives in their car doing DoorDash. It's about being self-employed without all like the massive responsibility. And it's really important to me right now that my work fits around my life, not the other way around. So freedom and enjoying my work is more important than a higher salary to me right now. If you're interested in working food delivery, my referral links are in the description to get you started. And if any of you guys are currently working these types of jobs and there's something that I can do better, please let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for ways to improve. And everyone else, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. See you next time. All right, Christy. Thank you so much, Christy Meacham, for uh, doing the video. I, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys and gals did. But like I said, the whole moral of the story here for this video, folks, is to show what a regular, normal, typical, full-time driver makes per week. And there's probably some weeks that are even less money than that. I mean, she probably, I mean, I don't know, but I'm think, I'm guessing that if she makes even eight or 900 a week or 700, she's probably pretty happy about it. I doubt she goes after the thousand dollars every week, but she could, who knows, maybe I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, but look at the hours that she had to do. She's, and that was like only 60, 64 hours of online, 40 hours of active time. So she's driving, delivering these, this, the food 40 minimum 40 hours to try to make that, but it's really 60, 70 and 80 hours a week to, to actually make that. So anyways, 
write in the comments what you think, folks. Um, and uh, I appreciate you, you know, sticking through the, the video because it was a lot to talk about. And I just wanted to show you this type of video and just show you that there are people. And she's not the only one. There's other people that are living in their car. And if you are living in your car, let me let us know in the uh, comments and uh, let us know if you like it, if you hate it. What's your circumstances? Whatever you want to share. Appreciate each and every one of you. Love all of you guys and gals. Please uh, hit the subscription button and the notification bell if you're new here and the like button. And I will see you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.